everybody, it's Rylan, and welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to another limited edition Disney doll review. I literally just almost lost my breath. Today I have an awesome doll to review with all of you guys. It is the infamous Ursula Monster of the Sea from a favorite Disney movie of mine, The Little Mermaid. Yes! I have the villain to go alongside Ariel, who I have reviewed already, and if you want to check out that Ariel Limited Edition doll review, then go ahead and click that link right above there, and it will take you directly to the review. It's a fun review, and I love Ariel. Yes, I do. Now, before I start talking more about Ursula, I just wanted to welcome you to my channel if you're new here and if you have the same interests as I do like limited edition Disney items toy unboxings blind bags then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and then after you've hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you are notified every single time I upload a brand new video oh by the way I'm wearing white gloves why short answer I'm crazy. No, I wear all of, I wear white gloves to, well, I guess to some people I might seem crazy. I wear white gloves or gloves to review all of my Disney dolls because I really like to handle all of my collectible Disney items with the utmost care. Anyways, you guys, I'm really excited to review Ursula with you. She is such an awesome villain, if not one of my favorite, alongside with Mother Gothel and uh, Lady Tremaine. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but my cat in the background she is like, living the dream. I'm really excited to show this doll to you. Um, look at all the details when we take the plastic cover off. And just really admire Ursula and the viciousness that she is. All right, let's go ahead and check her out. Let's go right now. Okay, everybody, so we have Ursula from The Little Mermaid. She is the villain against Ariel and Prince Eric sitting right here in front of us. Now, to start off with this review, I did want to go over all of the box coloring and the detail of the box. I love this rich purple as the border of the box, and then we can actually see that there is a silver trim going around the window. On that silver trim, we have little diamonds, and that's very similar to the Cinderella uh, box and also the Lady Tremaine box. At the very bottom, it says limited edition one of 2,000, so there were only 2,000 of these Ursula dolls made, which is really Really, really really cool because I love when there is a low number made for a quantity it says Ursula right underneath that banner we have the Disney Store logo up here in the corner and it is in black which is again something I've never seen on any Disney Store doll ages six and up right here I don't know if you guys can tell but that age is six and up it's like tentacles going around the six and then the plus sign there is a window at the very top so you can actually see inside if I turn it to this side there is another window all of these Disney limited edition boxes have windows on all sides so on the top this side the opposite side and then on the front we see a screen print design right here which kind of like picks off on her tentacles again and because you know Ursula is an octopus again there is a window on this side and on the very back we do have kind of a description of the doll itself now I always like to read this kind of commentary that they have on the box so I will go ahead and bring it up a little bit closer and I will read this for you it says Disney Store proudly presents the worldwide limited edition Ursula doll with its elaborate details this beautifully designed doll magically captures Ursula's stylish demeanor and villainous spirit her finely detailed sweetheart bodice features rich velvet and embellished black rhinestones while her signature silver streaked hair is swept up to reveal her intricately sculpted golden seashell earrings and necklace. Designed and carefully crafted by Disney Store artists, this legendary limited edition doll is a must-have for Disney fans and collectors alike. As we go down, we do see the price. It says USA $99.95, Canada $109.95. It also says certificate of authenticity and display stand included. Now this was not $99, unfortunately, because she was released a while ago. The price always increases. I can't remember exactly how much I got her for definitely under 300 so I know you can find her on eBay or in a Disney Facebook group. Alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take off this front cover and then also the window so we can get rid of that glare and really see this doll even better. So hang on one second. Now before I start talking about the doll, I did want to show you guys that this front part actually comes off and removes. You can just put it to the side and then also there is a plastic screen which I also removed. So we now have that glare gone. Good. 
Goodbye, Claire. See you later. See you next time when you're sitting on my shelf. But we have Ursula sitting right here in front of us, and all of these dolls do come with a certificate of authenticity, as noted on the back of the box. And I always like to go over my number with you guys. Looks like I got number 723 of 2000, and this doll was actually made in 2013 alongside with Ariel and Prince Eric. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and bring her up just a little bit closer so we can see the background of the doll. We do have this water background with these big bubbles, which I adore. I think that the aquas, the turquoise, the blues going against the purple and her lavender skin really does suit this doll presentation perfectly. I can already tell you guys these eyelashes, these rooted eyelashes are fierce. Pretty much um, an overview of the whole doll itself. It looks like she is kind of sitting on a stand. We have all this black kind of, or um, I don't know what that, like black tool on the bottom so it kind of makes it look like she's floating. We can see all of that sequence on her tentacles and then all these beautiful black rhinestones which we will talk about in just a minute. Overall this doll just as an overview is incredible and oh my gosh I'm just so happy I have her next to Ariel. She's fabulous. Alright you guys I'm going to go ahead and switch to my macro lens and we're going to see this Ursula Collector doll in so much more detail. Get really close to the face so we can really appreciate the paint job that went in to Ursula. All right, you guys, so just hang on one second. I'm going to switch lenses. Okay, everybody, so we have that macro lens in, and we can see the artwork on this doll. It's just breathtaking. Oh, my goodness. Look at the shimmery lavender skin. It really looks like she's, like, underwater, and she's glistening. Actually, lavender is such an amazing color. I'm so happy that they've really, really done such a good job with this doll and just, like, the coloring and, you know, being so close to the movie. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Looking at her eyes, she does have really exaggerated eyebrows. This arch is really, really high. It's black. Underneath that black arch, there is almost like a white arch to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. As we move down, you can actually see also the accentuated colors on her eyeshadow. So we have almost like a shimmery blue, and then right above that, we have a light purple. Right below her eye, she has this light blue kind of eyeliner going on. Two painted on, or actually three painted on eyelashes. Lashes. See one, two, three. A rooted eyelash that is just like one strand going up, which I I really really like. Let's see, can I fix your earrings? Hmm. Not gonna try to fix your earrings. Now we also see that on the opposite side, she has that same kind of eye makeup going on, and it looks like her eyes are looking to this side. And if I put Ariel right next to her, it really does look like she's looking at Ariel. As we move down, she has a dark maroon lip. Also, we see this beauty mark, this black beauty mark right here, and then this little chin, little chinsy, little chinsy, hello. Also, the facial expression here is great. It's like a swoop and then a swoop. Very beautiful, very beautiful mold. Looking at her hair, you guys, because her hair is really amazing. It is silver, gray, and white. It's done up and it's just, it's so glued down, it's definitely not going anywhere. Also, something really beautiful is this necklace. Now, we all know what this necklace means if you've seen the movie. A hint is, ah, uh, I am not a singer, but that was my attempt at Ariel's voice. So this is the seashell that holds Ariel's voice, and if it cracks open, Ariel is speaking again. As we move down, we can actually see all of these beautiful rhinestones shining in the light. They're black rhinestones on her bodice. Her bodice is almost like a velvet, and it's black as well. Moving down again, we do see these beautiful sequence tentacles. I think that this really just makes it look like very sea monster-esque with, <laughs> sea monster-esque if that's even a word, with the dark purple and then the sequence kind of shining in the light. Oh my gosh, look at that. That just looks so cool. Her hands do have fingernail polish on them. That color matches the lip on Ursula. So we can see it's like a dark maroon color. As we move down, like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video, she is kind of sitting on some black tool. The black tool kind of just gives it almost like the impression like she's floating. Also, something to notice is that the rhinestones start very heavy on top and then get very light towards the bottom. Overall, very, very beautiful doll, everyone. I love the shape of it. I love how movie accurate it is. If there's something that I really appreciate um, about Disney dolls is how movie accurate 
they make the dolls because they just it makes it look even better. I did want to note real quick before I sign out uh, these earrings. They're like little seashell earrings and they're adorable. Let's get up really close to them because they deserve some macro moment right now. Yeah, so they kind of match off of the necklace. So, very well done. Very, very well done. Okay, everybody, that pretty much wraps up my review and my displaying of the limited edition collector Ursula doll from the Disney Store. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments section what your favorite detail is of this doll. Mine is definitely her amazing rooted eyelashes, all the jewelry on her, and the rhinestones on her bodice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. And remember to be be yourself because everyone else is already taken. And those are famous words from Oscar Wilde. Peace and love from me here in LA. Bye bye.